Hey guys, Bryce from Trick Tools here, and we wanted to give you guys a look at the Ben Press bench top press brake. So, this is a, as you can see, pretty small compact unit that gives you the capabilities of being able to bend stuff uh, that you need a lot of tonnage to be able to bend. So, um, real nice compact size, heavy duty steel construction. Uh, it does a, there's some holes in the bottom of the base here that allows you to be able to bolt it right to uh, your table. Uh, these holes do line up with these, uh, uh, I guess the two inch hole patterns on these uh, strong hand carts, but uh, you can drill your own holes in your own bench or however you want to mount it in that direction. So uh, it does not come with a bottle jack. You got to supply your own and we recommend a uh, bottle jack that has a minimum uh, uh, or a maximum uh, height of at least uh, 15 inches when it's uh, fully uh, open. So that's going to give you the ability to uh, press 90 degrees uh, all the way down into the uh, open area down here properly be able to bend 90 degrees on your material there. So um, comes with uh, this half inch thick tool steel uh, punch uh, that actually does the uh, the braking action there. Uh, it's spring loaded so it, uh, when you go to release the bottle jack it will return itself uh, into the upright position and we have an optional v-block that you can uh, purchase that will um, go right down in the opening area here that's going to give you the capabilities of uh, being able to bend some smaller material at a real nice crisp uh, precise uh, bend so uh, this v-block has four positions and minimum uh, is a 060 material thickness and then it goes 090 and then we have a 120 material thickness and 188 so um, depending on you know what you're bending you can use the maximum width of this and be able to achieve those uh, widths or those material thicknesses in each one of these v-grooves so got to make sure if you're using this that you're using the proper v-groove for the material that you're bending obviously it's going to be uh, almost impossible to bend 3 16 plate in the V groove that's intended for uh, 060 material. Uh, so make sure that you're choosing the right groove for the material that you're using. So um, if you are not going to be bending anything that's under uh, 3 16 you can just use the open area down here in the bottom and be able to bend from quarter inch all the way up to 5 8 uh, I believe it'll bend 5 8 material at a maximum width of 2 inches. So uh, you can bend those thicker things uh, even without having a v-block in the bend press so um, we'll put those up on the screen as far as what uh, widths you can bend certain thicknesses uh, in this machine so for demo purposes I'm gonna go ahead and bend a couple of things here in the v-block and we're gonna start with some 3 16 material I'm going to drop that in there. Uh, this is this working area is 10 inches wide, and uh, depending on, like I said, what material you're bending here, you can achieve that bend in the full 10 inches on that material thickness. So, um, but for demo's sake, uh, I've got a little piece of uh, 3 16 here. Uh, I'm going to drop this in the V block, and then pretty simple, real basic, manual operated. I'm going to crank this down. And obviously, you know, when you get it close, if you've got a line mark, you can line that up with the punch die and then proceed to bending. Now, the maximum uh, bend that you can do on this is 90 degrees and anywhere from zero to 90. So, depending on Obviously, uh, what bend you need, you might be able to put some type of uh, angle finder on there or just have to um, you know, bend a little bit, remove your material, check the angle, that sort of thing. And then you can have that nice uh, bend on there on 3 16 and uh, does a pretty nice job of being able to give you a, a tight, a nice tight radius without it being too big, too round, uh, even on some 3 16 material. Uh, so I'm going to switch over here to the um, to the V groove for uh, 120. 
and we'll drop some uh, 120 material on here. So there's a nice hole in the front here you can uh, drop your handle into so it's not always hanging out in your face. And kind of reach underneath. We'll turn this V block, drop it in here. We've got this piece of 120 that is cut at 10 inches. So this will show you a 10 inch wide piece uh, and the maximum working area of this. So depending on what material you're bending, what V block you're using or not using the V block will depend on how much material you need from the bend point of the material to the edge. Because uh, obviously you have to have enough material out so it's going to lay on the you know, flat part of the bend press uh, here. So if you don't have the V-block, it's got to be wide enough to meet both sides of uh, the base here. And then with the V-block in there, obviously it just has to be wider than the V-groove in the V-block. So um, go ahead and drop that in there. You can see how quickly, uh, even on a 10 inch wide piece of 120, that it bends that. That's a pretty nice, crisp, clean break and some eighth inch material there. And like I said, it really gives you the capabilities of being able to have the press brake type function in a small package that's not gonna take up a bunch of room in your shop, but it's still gonna get your job done on a variety of different uh, heavier ma uh, materials, even down to some sheet metal thicknesses. So uh, if you have any questions on the bend press, give us a call, visit our website at tricktools.com. It'll answer any questions you have there, or we'll try to help, help you out on the phone. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and check out the bend press. We'll see you in the next one.